performance matters. Remember that? Remember we used to say that? Perf matters. Um, But only when it matters. (laughs) (laughs) There's another thing I've been thinking about how people think about optimization and performance in general. Mm. And I've been Do they think about it? That's the thing. I feel <laughs> like so I feel like um, I at some point it. on the web you you're bound to think about it because it's yeah. very it's it's sometimes it is too easy to just do it wrong and get horrible performance out of it and people yeah, will yeah. start yelling at you. But I feel like people falling into like three camps of how they think about it. The first camp is the the snake oil camp. Just apply snake oil generously to areas like you heard uh, scrolling is slow. I must will change everything, and it will get faster. Oh right, yes, yes. So that kind of person just hear. Yeah, yeah. It's it's basically rules, not tools. Yes. Okay. Where people just hear something like you shouldn't be using async functions because they're slower than functions, and they just hear rules. They don't right. question them and just use them. Yes. That's obviously not a good pattern to be in. I still see code where um, instead of using string concatenation, it's an array of strings that's joined because that was faster in IE6. And, but I still see code like getting published, and it's like and you, you, know, you question it in a code review, and it's like, oh, it's faster this way. It's like, not for six years. <laughs> like, and even yeah. if it was, is that we're going to get to yeah, that? Okay, okay. So the second tier I see, and that's I, I want to say the majority. I don't want to call anyone out or point fingers, but I feel like it's what I see the most on Twitter is people who do benchmarks. Like they look for numbers, and if a number is smaller, then right. that must be better. And so they say like, yeah. oh, if I uh, arrow functions are smaller, or for off loops are uh, slower than old school for yeah. let i blah. Well, we we caught this recently in, in the project we were working on. Like we had, um, I was using matrix objects. Yeah. Um, for for like pinch zoom effects calculator because it for me read really well. Yeah. Um, and I think the question came. It's like, well, why why don't we just do this with maths? And it's like, well, number A, I don't know the maths. Uh, but more importantly, it would be harder to read. Yeah. Afterwards, so let's just use the objects that are there, and it's more maintainable. It is probably slow. Probably, yeah. Well, probably and that's slower. The thing. So, so, so people not, often yeah. tunnel on the micro benchmarks. I feel like, like, oh, if you use this thing, it's slower, and in Safari, it's even more slower than yeah. in other browsers. And like, I hear you, and you might, you, you're probably correct. Mm. But and I think like people should strive to be more in the third camp because the answer usually is it depends. Yes. Context is so important on the perform and the performance. It always depends on what you're talking about, yeah. and it's always a trade-off. Exactly. So you always trade off readability or reusability. Or uh, scalability, or something, is the trade-off for switching the technique. Yep. And you might gain performance on a micro benchmark, but it might not actually help you. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So there's there's two things there. On one hand, people like to optimize things that are not their bottleneck. Yeah, it's the inside of the loop, not the outside of the loop. That's the problem. That's, exactly. Yeah. So people, I think, the first rule is always measure. Like, see if you're optimizing, and the time you spend on optimizing that bit is actually giving you any notable advantages. Yep. So if I make my for loop over ten objects faster by using a for let loop instead of a for off loop, um, sure, it might be faster. We are talking microseconds, and nobody's going to notice or have any benefit from it. Yep. So that's the first thing. The other thing is like readability is very important, for example. And I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> readability is important. It is. Um, and it's more important. It's performance matters. Remember that? Remember we Perf used to matters, say that? Yeah. Perf yeah. matters. Um, but only when it matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have my example back. If, you, if, you're still, if you're still hitting your frame budget. Exactly. If, if, if so it's, so I think thinking it, in yeah. budgets is super helpful, because as you might know, I've been looking into using workers more, moving off mm-hmm. the main thread. Um, and so when I hit a button, I now have to send a message to the worker and do my logic there, because my logic is now in a worker without the DOM, yep. the other thing, and then update the DOM by sending a message back. So if you measure that, yes, the response to a button tap will be longer because there's an actual round trip and thread hops involved. Yep. And so people, there were some people who said, you shouldn't do that. It's slower. Right. And th- th- it's, it's not a good pattern because it will make the app slower. And they're like, well, my reaction time to the button press went from 8 milliseconds to 16 milliseconds. Right, which is. And accordingly, yeah. if we use some guidance, for example, rail, I have 100 milliseconds to react to a tap. So I'm very much still within my budget. Yes. So the question is, yes, it's slower, but what did I gain? And you um, gained if it is expensive. If for some reason, yeah, the worker gets an expensive API response to parse, or the device is super slow and totally busy, mm-hmm. or something, suddenly it's resilient to all these little side effects and will keep the yeah. main thread responsive for the user can scroll and doesn't even notice that something is going on hmm. under the hood. 
Um, also, it gives me a nice appearance so that I can actually have a separation of concerns and don't have a tight coupling between my UI framework and my logic in the worker. So there's many aspects to it. And I feel like people need to be more after the context. So whenever somebody asked me, which I sometimes feel like, should I be using this or this because I heard this is faster, it's like, I was like, what's the context? What are you trying to do and what are you working on? Because that is that makes and breaks a decision yeah. that you're working on. Right? Yeah. So, Double topic. So what's your conclusion? Uh, <laughs> it depends. It depends. Good. It's a good conclusion. That is the <laughs> correct conclusion for most things. OK. So. so oh, we tried something different. That took me off guard. OK. 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 Well. OK. I had a university lecturer who used to say, we, we used to keep a tally of how many times they said OK. And they would string them together. And that was the most satisfying ones, <laughs> where they'd be, where they'd be like, uh, and you know, if you look at this, uh, this, this is how it should be. OK. OK, OK, so <laughs> it, 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 we've got three, three in a row. Three times combo. Bingo. <laughs>